the world of 199X features a form of installation sexual violence that has been put in medical history. The concept of using hysterical paraphrases or forced orgasms to treat an imaginary disease called female hysteria is explored. The process by which these paraphrases are administered is extremely clinical and unnerving. In addition to these specific illusions, 199X is a game about severe emotional and physical physical manipulation. If you think this sort of content might trigger any especially unpleasant emotional reactions, I would strongly advise seeking out more information before playing. If, if upon learning more about the game's content, you feel as though playing it would make you uncomfortable, then feel free to send me an email at I will be happy to arrange a full refund for your purchase. Otherwise, enjoy the game. Hello, hello. Welcome to my new <laughs> Let's play. I was thinking about what will I do with my... Wait, wait. I don't think the sound is good. Wait, wait. Let me fix that. Uh, you gotta go lower. 25 is... Alright. I was thinking about myself, what will be my next let's play? I thought I will do something I know, normally never do. Let's play this game. I already played this once. And actually I like the story a little bit, things like that. So let's just get into it. Right? Alright, let's do this. Just not talking, so I will do all the talking. But the music is sometimes well good. So this is it. Wait, I have to put it back here. Eh? Loneliness. Did you? No, you didn't record it because it was paused, I think, right? Let me test that. No, no, it's still there. No, no, it's still there. Alright, alright. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I need to do this. Okay. Go. Alright. You. I think I like you better. Whatever. Let's go. I played this one time already when I was at work. But there's just nothing to interact with. I actually liked it. Uh, this game it's might get boring after a while, but, but the thing itself, it's a little good. Alright. <coughs> All you have to do now is get in the bed. And let's go. And the game will start. Day one, Monday. December 18, one no, one nine nine X. Uh, what? Where am I? Oh, I see your work. What the fuck are you? What's going on here? I'm here to help you, Clara. Help, help me how? I'm here to help you get better. It's been a tough day, I'm sure. Get the shit and give me a straight answer. You really don't remember a thing, do you? I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. We found you in your apartment. It it was an apparent overdose or at least an attempt. What? I don't remember anything like that. And I don't take drugs. Neighbors have also told us you display some of where is it then this is. Wait, who told you? Was it Rebecca? Because fuck her. I don't trust anything Rebecca told you. Uh no, actually Oh oh wait, it was probably Riley. Asshole. It's just been a prick ever since he decided he didn't approve of my lifestyle. You shouldn't trust them either. We were told by a variety of your acquaintances that you exhibit symptoms best fitted to the early stages of schizophrenia. What? Okay, that one that was definitely Rebecca. I'm a doctor Clara. I'm qualified in these matters. I agree with them. This is goddamn insane. I'm fine. Ask me any question. Okay, let's try what we tried before you fell back asleep. Get out of bed and walk to me. Fine, you don't have to sound so condescending. Um, what the fuck did you do to me? I can't move. Yes, you can. Just focus. I, why? Why? What did you do this to me? Calm down, Clara. We can't give up, not yet. Uh, I can't. <coughs> then you just move yourself. Ah, fucking Christ. Nope, nope, nope. That didn't just happen. Could you describe what that felt like? I didn't do anything. I didn't. I just... F 
fuck, I didn't move. I was moved. Please stop shouting. You say you felt like you were being moved? I didn't feel anything. I just started moving. Maybe put yourself in my shoes and see if you'd want to stop shouting. Mm, all right. Wait, no, you're doing that thing doctors do. I'm not crazy. I'm sure there's an explanation. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, okay, uh, hey, who, who did that? Nobody. Very funny, they hear that they are doing it. Hmm, that's quite interesting. But the omnipotent force that consoles me? Yeah, I say that's pretty. Oh, I guess that's one of those times where you say not something that makes sense in your head and then you hear how it sounds. No, not crazy. This is much more developed case than I usually thought. Shut up, what do you know? I don't know. Maybe you should hear my mouth. You stay out of this. And why are you taking his side anyway? You aren't controlling him. So you just heard this person say something. Okay, I'm going to say this one more time. I'm not crazy. If you don't believe me that, then we're done here. Alright, Clara. I think it's time to go back to bed. <coughs> don't touch me! Come now, Clara. Don't make me call the nurses. Uh, uh, could you help me out? I'm trying my best, Clara, but I can only help us as much as you let me. Hmm? Excuse me. Uh, come on, find them. I mean, have me. Look, this isn't rocket time. Yeah, there's a fight in there, though. Wait, where are we? This is an illusion, Clara. You need to come back to reality. What? What do you think? Yeah. You and I both know you want this to end. Hmm. You know me too well. Fight. Special. No special. Fine. Go back. Magic. Fire. Top them. Done. Yep, that's all. No X point. That's all it takes. Yeah, we won. Wait, you don't think he's... Is... Is... Did we... I mean, it's Patchcon, so fuck off! Uh, let's just get going before anyone else shows up. In 119X, you can call Clara through with light interactive changes. You can move Clara with the arrow keys. You can save the game by pressing the S keys. You can interact with object by pressing the spacebar, try investigating the fire extinguishers and the computer before leaving the room. Fine. <coughs> that makes it easy. Really, you're kidding me, right? So, fine. This is a fire extinguisher. It can be used to put out fires. You think of all the other awesome things to do with the fire extinguisher and do none of them. Because we need to get out of the hospital. You're in redeemable now, in jerk. I want to talk again. Ah, damn it. Right. To the computer. That's not a bad idea, actually. Maybe there's something on this computer. Nope. Just nonsense about my father's son. I seem pretty healthy for someone who will probably plead insanity. Fucking doctors. Something else? Nope. Time to leave. <coughs> uh, I cannot leave. Oh. Uh oh. I guess we haven't properly. Uh -huh. I'm Clara. Nice to meet you. I guess we're gonna be stuck like this for a while. Nice to meet you too. Glad we got that out of the way. I guess we are friends now. Oh. Or is that too clingy? I'm probably overthinking this. Let's just try to figure out what's going on, huh? Pink is red. Press your pinky against the computer. Let me do that. I actually did that. Did you do it? I think I felt something. Uh, glad we're on the same page. Let's get going. <coughs> I was putting my pinky there, yeah, but I was touching something else. Uh-uh, sorry. I can't help myself. Wow, that's strange. We need to leave. Yeah, this is how about that. I did the first time I did the top ones. This is so weird. It seems like everyone's gone. Walk me over to all the bits, okay? Let's just take a peek and see if there's anything suspicious going on. In 911X, you can only progress in the story by interacting with certain objects. After interacting with all manual objects, you will receive a piece of knowledge. This knowledge will allow you to progress further. Have fun and remember, you can interact with objects multiple times to make different choices. Hint, there's some there's one relevant piece of information at the northwest bits. Northwest <coughs> North or Southwest Northwest ah, okay. And two at the control panel. Alright. Northeast Southwest. Northeast Southwest. It is this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Yes, indeed. I'm not thirsty, but thanks for asking. Nah. 
Poof, no quiz eight. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, they have quiz eight here. Man, I wish I had some chains, but the doctor must have taken everything off of me. To be fair, you could have cut yourself a co You could have cut yourself a coin. Very funny, you, you symptom. I guess I just sold you on, because I'm so brave. Yeah, thanks, mom. My mom was an asshole. God damn it, stop putting my nose in candy, I can die. It's the same. Yeah, no one here, what do you think? Maybe when no one got sick? That seems unlikely, the Lana is a big city, I mean, relatively speaking. So this town's called Lana. What? You never heard of it? The Lana actually has a pretty interesting history. It started as like this really small town just north of San Francisco. It got bigger and bigger, then we sent for then San Francisco dissolved, it sort of filled the space. That's interesting, you should teach history. Ha, huh, yeah, nice at you. I flanked history. Unless it was sarcasm, that might have been sarcasm. If it was you, you can go eat a dick. No, thank you. Fuck, you'd think the person who told me would have been a little more grandiose. Shouldn't you be telling me about my destiny or some shit? <coughs> Depends, what's your sign? Um, I think it's Ophelius. That one they added late. It suits me. I'm not saying astrology is a bullshit, but... I don't know. It's nice to have the stars all lined in the side I'm after thought. If you get what I mean. Got a clear sign. Let's go check out other beds. Let's not. Let's go back. What is there something else you wanted me? Maybe they built a hospital just for you. Oh, yeah, good point. Maybe I'm just that crazy. See, we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> Maybe I prefer my puppeteer as a smart ass. Let's go check out other beds. Something else? <laughs> I have no idea. Some help you are. I figured the person was... <laughs> you are unlucky in love. Huh, maybe I prefer my husband. Let's go check it out. Alright. <coughs> Next bet is this one. Nothing here. Maybe everyone ever forget when I broke out. The cop might be waiting for that sign. You think? Wouldn't they just tell me if they wanted me to stay? I think something else might be going on. Uh, let's just keep going. Are we done here? Self obsessed much? No, not at all. I just talk with loose stick to the voice in my head. You don't get to criticize me. You're the criticism. Okay, let's go. This music is really, really starting to get. Not to my nerves, but just. I don't know. Man, man, man! I was used to keep chains on me for moments like this. The colors, the lovers, the chocolate inside them. I should really get a job. Then I can, then I can buy crazy eight whenever I fucking want. Touching on Lucas be damned. The music's really and not annoying, but other stuff. Morning. This is creepy. Yeah, a little. I'm always more scared in horror games and movies when you think something's going to happen, but nothing does. Getting that kind of vibe from this hospital. Let's get moving. Oh no. Back up, back up. Hmm. This seems legit, legit like, legit, legit, or legit like creepy alley drug. From legit. Don't waste your breath. I know what they meant. Let's get moving. Fine. Next one. What if we're dead? So this will build the door. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. The empty hospital beds are a metaphor. That's deep. I know, right? I impress my even myself support. I'm getting answered. Let's say the word. Other one. Just so this will be on. That makes more sense than, than I'd get to admit. That in here forever. A creepy person at hospital. Fuck that. Straight to uh, hell. I'm getting answered. Let's say the word. Next one. So this will be heaven. Nah, that doesn't line up. Who's heaven? This be. Unless maybe the beds are all empty because no one's sick and no one gets sick in heaven. Shit. Now you get my hopes up. If you walk outside and hopes on like the first thing I hear, you're dead to me. I'm gonna end the shit about. Wow. <coughs> Not to say anything? No. This one. This is a chicken terminal. It's where people get diagnosed or like a preliminary diagnosis to see if they need a bed or a palliative support. That's not how they do it where I live. Really? It's pretty down so tough. Do you live in medieval times or something? I live in 2016. Wow! You were, you're shitting me, right? Nope. Oh my god, this cannot be happening. You have to have to have 
to tell me everything. Why do you care so much? I'm a collector. I specialize in stuff from the time you live in. Media, mostly books, movies, games, newspapers. I find it fascinating. Let me get out of here. You've got to fill me in. Fuck, this is so exciting. Got Clara's collection. That's mousy. Not yet. Resources must be scarce, huh? Not really. It's just most efficient this way. People who need treatment get it. The others get a quick diagnosis and leave. Less waiting, no copay. Better than it was a long time ago. So, sweet, no one's seen those spots, whatever. That's mousy. Nope, yet. Hang on, what's a paroxysm? Oh, right, sorry about that. Technically, it's called a hysterical paroxysm. It's a treatment for women. These spots administer treatment. Well, these spots are for quick treatments, the ones back where we came through are for exaggerated beta cases. Basically, put a small metal heart moves in and out of the vaginal canal for a little while. Oh my god. Until it provokes a paraphrasal. Oh my god. Then the treatment is complete and the woman is free to go. Uh, what does a treat? Good question. A hysterical paranoid is used to treat, you guessed it, female hysteria. Sometimes women, I mean, sometimes we get a little frenzied, like we'll get faint or clingy or sick or nervous or angry or we want to want have sex or we want to have too much sex. I like that one. And the part of fixing spot treatment cures all of that. Generally, the sick infant others suggest treatment. Mine brought me in a couple of times. Apparently, the parasism, syphilitically, all those big words, stops our womb from wandering within our bodies. But hey, I'm not a doctor. Yeah, and that about sums it up. <coughs> That's fine for the info. No problem. Let's mouse it. I think I will leave it for here. And I know it's not. It might get boring, but I will try to keep it entertained for you guys, just so you can keep watching it. The the story itself, it's a little good. It gets a little better later on and stuff like that. But for now, I leave it. I'll see you guys in the next one. So have a nice day. Bye.